Hello, thanks for downloading the cash flow forecast template. Businesses often need to, uh, to know what the cash position is going to be over the next few weeks. Their account systems not much help with this. A couple of main reasons. Firstly, the account system works on the invoice due date, and uh, often that's not that the date when you actually think the money's going to come in or out. Secondly, not everything you know about in terms of cash flows happening in the future is actually on your finance system. So this system, this simple spreadsheet is designed to, to help with that and to give you a good 30 day look ahead at uh, where your cash position is going to be. So we've got three sheets. Here we've got regular transactions, things that happen every month like payroll. Here we've got this month's unique transactions. So the cash in and out that you know about, the invoices from customers and payments to suppliers and also in the sheet the uh, balance and date that you're starting the cash forecast from and finally a list and day-by-day -day list and a graphical representation of your cash flow forecast so let's start with the uh, the regular transactions I'll start with cash out and do some example data so payroll let's say that's 6,000 and it goes out on the first Rent, fifteen hundred. That goes out on the fourth. And hosting, call that sixty. Goes out on the thirteenth. And then, in this business, we've got some uh, regular maintenance income, so contracted income. Call it uh, 10,450, and so it comes in on the fourth of every month. So these pretty much stay the same every month. Having set them up, you don't need to touch them uh, unless some of these values actually change. This month's transactions are just the things that are going on uh, in the next 30 days that you know about, and we'll start with uh, we'll start with our um, statement. So the date, uh, let's take the date of uh, 5th of the 7th, 5, 7, 14. And we're going to say we have £3,000 in the bank at that date. We talk about uh, cash in. So we've got three invoices coming in. I'm just going to call them Smith. Jones and Blogs. I'm going to give them amounts of 2,300, 960, and 4,000. And our best guess, having spoken to the people paying the, the bills at their end, is that they're going to come in on the 12th. 7th, the 14th, the 17th, 7, 14, and the 23rd, 7, 14. And these dates, of course, might not be anything like the dates that are actually due. And then we've got some cash out we know about. We'll just have a couple here. Supplier 8. And the other one imaginatively called supplier B. Any amounts, let's say we got seven fifty for the first guy, six forty for the second guy, and they're due out on the let's say the eighth. Seven fourteen and the tenth. So let's take a quick look at what the forecast is telling us. Okay, well the good news is we never go negative. Uh, the bad news is at this point in the month, around about the 10th or 11th, uh, we get pretty close. Uh, depends what your normal definition of close is, but you might want to be looking at, can we stretch some of these payments back until after we got this payment in? 
or you might be saying actually we'll just transfer a little bit of money from our deposit into the current account before we get to this point and you can see here these are the actual flows in and out of the balances that are represented by the graph so let's go through that let's say you get a statement every every week so a week later you've got a new statement 12th of the 7th and the statement is now um, let's call it four or five hundred now a couple of things because this is now set to the 12th uh, this payment this payment and this payment these three payments will be considered to be prior to that balance so so they'll be ignored essentially um, so there's a couple of things if, if these have in fact taken place on the day you expect it best thing to do is to clear them out of the, of the equation just remove them here remove it here and start to put in the new transactions that you're becoming aware of you know there's a limited space you've got to put transactions in here so don't keep clattering out with stuff this history however if in fact you didn't get the payment so let's say this payment here which they promised you on the 12th um, they've come back to you and said oh I'm very sorry it's not going to come in on the 19th which is what sometimes happens you can just change it there so what we should have here really are state uh, our transactions that you anticipate in the future and you should be clearing out the stuff that's in the past Go back to our forecast and that's been revised looks a bit healthier now got past that little low point and again we're looking now out to the next 30 days the key point here is this date this date the start of your forecast is your last statement date so we don't look at stuff that's gone on in the past so pretty simple inputs there's your 30-day cash flow forecast that's it